This is Pocket Camp, the Animal Crossing mobile game that came out in 2017. And this is the Pocket Camp map, but this time in New Horizons. That's right, I'm doing another recreation, this time Pocket Camp. <laughs> And with that, let us begin. We are starting here in my campsite. The inspiration is like the split. Like when Pocket Camp first came out, people tended to split their camps. There'd be the deck side and then there'd be the outdoorsy side. So that's what I've got going on here. When I first played Pocket Camp, I put down a blue round rug and called it my lake and I had flamingos and ducks around. So I'm recreating that, but with an actual lake, which is quite fun. And then over here is our cozy camping side. And this is kind of based off of the All Natural camping series. It's one of my favorite event series out there. If you want to see what I think about each event series, I did do a video about a year ago talking about each event and each fortune cookie set. So I'll link those up there. You can check them out but it's just so fun to look at all the items. At this point, there's so many items in Pocket Camp, I don't even use them, but I still keep coming back just to see the new items and look at them. Anyway, so this is based off of that very nice, cozy, all natural set. It has the tents, the little fire with s'mores, which I love, and then cushions, and just beautiful. Anyway, there it is. And of course, I have all the villagers here so that they will congregate here more naturally. I see them fishing here all the time, which is awesome. I've yet to see one sit down, but when that happens, I will grab pics for sure. And it's just a good neighborhood, a good place to plop down people, because checking out this map, there's not a lot of good places. I put one person in each campsite to be the camper there, but like it's not like I could shove them in Shovel Strike Quarry or anything like that, so it makes sense to put them here in your campsite. And just north of here is OK Motors. It's one of the few areas you have to go through another area to get to. But it's here in the top right corner. So what can you do? It's kind of sad that they don't have all the... Are they pigeons? Pepe. Ooh, I can't remember the other guy's names. You hardly ever use them or see them. But kind of sad they didn't come with the update. There's no amiibo of them, so makes sense. But here it is. I didn't know what to do with, for the blue building in the corner, so I just shoved a house here. And then here's my house, the OK Motors Red Barn. Not that you go into it, it's just decoratively there. I love that they had this in the game. I guess I could have put one of the arcade games out, but it's perfect having the actual game here. And yeah, quite a few 2.0 items. <laughs> it looks, this base looks so much better with these actual trucks. Because before I just had the tiny pocket camp RV things that you could set out. These look a whole lot more legit. Would have been nice if they were actual RVs, but whatever. Anyway, there's OK Motors. I think it turned out pretty good. I think they'd be proud. Not that I can remember their names. Uh, Peppy. They're all like Italian names, I believe. But I cannot remember them. Anyway. Continuing down back through our camp, we'll connect back with the marketplace right here. I didn't go too crazy on the marketplace. I'm a little bit ashamed that I didn't like try to do retails, RV, or Isabel has a stand over here, or like put out items for the Able Sisters or anything, but I feel like everyone's pretty represented. Able Sisters, there's Isabel. I guess retail's not, but Okay. <laughs> and then there's even the fortune cookie stand, which I love having there. And then of course, Timmy and Tommy selling their products. So it works well as a main street for a general town, but it's also kind of replicative of the pocket camp one. This is probably the worst recreation of any. There just wasn't enough room. This is kind of what was left over and I had to do it around the town hall. Cause normally this is your view when you get there. You get the tree and you park right in front of it. So I recreated the tree. That's a fun thing, but you literally have to come behind Town Hall, stand at just the right spot so it clips through it, and then you can see it. But anyway, over here we have Lloyd. <laughs> and if I could get down a little bit lower, it would look like he's wearing the cap. And I just got what guy Roy I thought looked the most 
Lloyd-ish, <laughs> which I guess would be the most basic guy roid ish and then gave him a safety hat, which is why Lloyd wears in the game. Anyway, coming in, here's our Shovel Strike Cory. I'm very proud that I managed to get five rocks in here. Uh, six would be the perfect number, got all of them, but Shovel Strike works as the perfect rock garden for your town. And almost all of the items are spot on. This could be the colors could match a little better. And they didn't have rice balls, but I did fried rice, so it's still a rice dish, right? And this, I think, is a forklift. They don't have forklifts, but the new new tools going in, the new vehicles, mm, I think it, may, it fits a lot better than a yellow race car bed, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. Oh, the one thing that is super off with this recreation is that I have a windmill here instead of an oil drill. But they got rid of the oil drill, so what you gonna do, right? <laughs> anyway, coming up these, normally you won't be able to walk up here. They'd cut you off and be like, uh, hit your rocks once you go up that first ramp. Try to go up that first ramp. But if we go up both ramps, we have the Happy Home Showroom. And I didn't decorate the outside at all because you don't see the outside at all. You don't even see the inside. It's just a menu in Pocket Camp. But I decided to recreate a physical location for it, and this is it. So here's our front little room. It's just reception. I just imagine Lottie sitting here being like, hey, you want to test your designer skills? And what would you test your designer skills on? Well, let me show you. Heading upstairs. All right. This room replicates the challenges where they don't tell you exactly what you need. You know, you got to look at the list and guess. Whereas normally they're like, this item goes here. Do you have that item? If you put it down, you get it right. Whereas this one's like... What item will it be? Here's a list of items. <laughs> Hopefully you can look at context clues and guess the right ones. And then when we go downstairs, we'll look at the three rooms that have all the items. So take a mental picture now of this. <laughs> There's one missing between the dollhouses, one on the table with the books, and one missing with the bears. I'm sure just looking at that, you don't even need to see the other items. You know what's missing, but we'll go down and play their game. Here's the first room. And this is replacing the book. Actually, this could throw you off. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's the pop-up book. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. I hate the ones where you can't tell what it is. Obviously, it wouldn't be the bookshelves because those can't go on a table. But, like, it could be a mug. Maybe they want a drink. Maybe they're studying and that's why they're study papers. You could kind of assume it's not this one in the corner. The standing books because... There's already one there on the table, but maybe they decided to have a second one. Also, a lamp makes sense on the table. Anyway, <laughs> with that rant over, it was the pop-up book. And now we have what will go by the bears. It's pretty obvious it's a bear. But is it a panda bear? Is it a giant panda bear? Or just a giant bear? <laughs> I know, of course, it's that one in the back corner. The normal bear... It only takes one space, just like how there's only one space missing. All right, let's move to the next room. Okay, here is what goes between the two dollhouses. Is it an ironing board? Candles, maybe? No, it's a dollhouse. <laughs> Another pretty easy one. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. I always wanted to set up my own game of it, so there it is. So that was the Happy Home Showcase. Nothing branches off of there, so we're gonna have to go right back through Shovel Strike to Marketplace. Most things branch off of Marketplace. Like, what other choice is there besides the campsite? Speaking of which, there is actually something that I missed that branched off the campsite, so we are gonna run back there and go do that real fast. There's a kind of secret path that this cliff is hiding, and you go up a ladder, and there's the cabin! They introduced this like a year into Pocket Camp. And I'm, I still never really mess with it, but I got a good cabin here in this game. My idea for this cabin was to make it the most cabin-y possible and give me a little bit of a Christmas theme just because I'm really excited for Christmas right now, feeling that holiday spirit. Anyway, just a cozy cabin that everyone can come hang out in, perfect for the holidays. And heading upstairs is their sleeping quarters and some more hangout areas. So there you go. Here's mom and dad's babies and then shove them in like shardines on the bunk beds over here. 
then, you know, video games and a little chill area by the fire with music and books and things. Just, ah, oh, the perfect winter getaway, if I do say so myself. Okay, now that we're leaving the cabin, I also have a little bit going on right here. I decided to decorate outside. Here's a bench you could swing on. <laughs> I probably won't let my kids do that. It seems a little dangerous, but I guess once they get older, you get a little less cautious, right? <laughs> and then a nice hot spring. Ooh. A hot spring in the winter sounds delightful. Although they're probably a little colder from snow going into them and things. All right, back down along our little hidden path by the pond and back to the marketplace. So the first campsite I'm gonna show you is Breezy Hollow. This is the source for fruit in the game. You can also get some at Lost Lurk Creek, but this is the main one. And here's the one stone that got away from me. <laughs> I wish it picked a better spot because I don't think there's rocks sitting in the middle of Breezy Hollow, but there it is anyway. <laughs> yep, pretty good recreation. These benches aren't exactly like the other benches. The other ones don't have the metal parts to them. They're all wood, but pretty close. And those logs, I wish I could tilt them in, but I can't. <laughs> That's one thing I hope for the next Animal Crossing, that we can do diagonals. Because even the picnic table, I think, is diagonal. Oh, also, this is a log table and not a picnic table because they axed that from the game after it being in-game since GameCube, which is fine. You can leave items behind. They can, they are free to move on. <laughs> anyway, here it is. It's a little squashed because I think it's the last campsite I did and I ran out of room. I need to have sufficient cliff room that you weren't staring at the beach over there. But there it is. And who lives here? None other than Murphy, which is really weird. I wouldn't imagine his house being a log cabin, but it is. So there you have it. I imagine I'm like mad scientist type for some reason. Then heading back through the marketplace and up this ramp, we follow this path to our next little campsite, which is Saltwater Shores. Here we are. Tucker actually lives here. Shep is just hanging out for some reason. <laughs> and once again, I got a pretty good dupe on everything. Oh, I forgot to put an image on the car to replicate an RV, but that's okay. Because honestly, <laughs> here, the RV over here, I did it. It looks kind of dumb, but like it's an attempt to be more authentic, I guess. <laughs> but still kind of dumb. Anyway, yeah, had everything I needed here. Garden chairs, nice log. Looks pretty good. Man, <laughs> makes you realize just how empty Pocket Camp is. Because normally, in most people's New Horizons towns, even in New Leaf Towns, things would not be this empty. They just don't have any flowers on the main level for some reason. They always use them in the background. And not many trees unless they're being used, in this case, for coconuts. All right, and heading on over, we have our island campsite, Sunburst Island. And this is where you catch bugs in game. We have two relaxation areas. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and have to watch part one of this series to see the hot mess I had before this item came out in 2.0. It was one of these, one of these white recliners, and then some table, I think a metal table, or it was the diner table, and then it was the Festival parasol. Oh my gosh, it was a hot mess. This looks a lot better. Still not a perfect recreation, but... This looks normal. The other one went, that would never naturally happen. That is definitely a strange attempt at recreating what is in a different thing. <laughs> anyway, here's Shep's house. He chills on this island permanently. And I'm pretty proud of this. There's the background thing that you barely see in Pocket Camp to the side. <laughs> and there's the ocean. Yeah, a good chunk of this island is being used up by Sunburst Island's ocean. And even then you see the cliffs in the background, which I don't think you can see anything in the background in game, but obviously map only so big, <laughs> you can only fit so much. It's really funny. When I first started this, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have little rest stops in between. We're gonna do other little areas integrated because how much room can Pocket Camp really take up? Like these areas are really simple. They're not that big. And then look at this, the map is filled. I think I like every area, every area you can go to in game is here, but I don't have like locations for Pete's. I could have done like a little stand or something for Pete, but there just wasn't room. Um, I, I kind of did Blather's treasure trek, but not really. I just did like 
the treasure trek tiles leading up to the museum that kind of count as it, right? But, and that took up like everything, <laughs> just doing these things. Anyway, so there's Sunburst Island. It's very calming, very relaxing. This is where you catch bugs. You dump honey in and then they come. So I thought, put a butterfly there. Perfect. Oh, and there's Gulliver's ship. He's upgraded to a yacht in New Horizons, <laughs> in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right, and here's that treasure trek path I was talking about. We're weaving in with the tiles, and Frida got in the way, but that's okay, Frida, I still love you. And it leads right up to the museum, our treasure trove of the island. Just kidding, it's empty, because this is just a sandbox island. Oh my gosh, this Chris Pink adorable. <laughs> You know what? People these days in New Horizons, they're always trying to get the perfect villagers. But when you just let it auto-populate, Grizz was one of my auto-populates in my original town. And I fell in love with him. And so I invited him to Pocket Camp because I just thought he would be perfect for this area. The Lost Lure Creek, like old man Grizz hanging out. Anyway, I love these cliffs. I love being able to walk around back here. Imagine what it's like. Anyway, coming down, this is where you fish in game. Catch all your little river fishies. Here's the dock where you can throw out a net. In this case, jump to the other side, the forbidden side that you can never go to in pocket camp. <laughs> anyway, oh, he's so cute. I wonder if I can do a little, little pose with him. Let's see. I'm really bad with the reactions and this is my second. Is this gonna wake him up? No. Nope. <laughs> I'll clap right next to his ears. Oh, he's so adorable sitting by the river with his ice cream. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Here's this little truck. I have no clue how it managed to park its way here. But this is another area that got squashed. And <laughs> all the trees are closer together than they need to be and everything. So barely got a vehicle in. Let alone each area is supposed to have two vehicles. One random person visiting and then you visiting. But only one area got two because there's only one area that had room for two. Also, trucks are really expensive, so I'm just proud of myself for scraping together six. <laughs> oh my gosh, he just woke up! <laughs> That's his shocked face because he has ice cream all over his hand now. <laughs> and he goes back to eating it. <laughs> so cute. Okay, this is not what this video is about, but Grizz Appreciation Day <laughs> starts today. <laughs> And never ends because he's so darling. All right. I think that's every area. Every area in Pocket Camp right there. Every area I recreated. That was lickety split. It really, like, it took up a whole island. It took up a whole flipping island. But it's really simple. It's really not that much. And there's the dream address if you would like to visit yourself. But a word of warning, this island ain't going to be here long. I'm here, let's take a spot next to old man Grizz. So there you have it, the end of the pocket camp, the end of this series. I do have three other videos going over how I made each area, and they could be interesting to watch because a lot of the items you saw here today didn't come out until 2.0, so they look pretty janky compared to this. It's an attempt at duping pocket camp, but it does not look as good when you don't have the actual items. But now we do, so that's wonderful. And speaking of 2.0 and having actual items, I, I've been getting a lot of requests. People want to see the New Leaf Town again, but with 2.0 items. See how much has come back, how much still isn't here. So I'm going to be doing that. Keep an eye out. I think a week or two from now, that should be out. We'll see how hard it is to get all the items. I'm hoping Happy Home Paradise comes in clutch and gets me all the items I need. But if not, it'll take longer than a one or two weeks. <laughs> and if you're wondering what's the plan for this island once I've recreated New Leaf again and I'm done with that, well, I'm very, very excited. I will be restarting this island completely and live streaming it day by day on Twitch. And we're going to be doing a Mermaid Core Island. I'm so freaking excited. And if you're wondering whatever happened to the road trip island, I will be doing that too on my main island. I'm tired of my main island. It's been the same thing for almost two years now. Just a normcore island. I enjoyed it while making it. I enjoyed it for like a year afterwards. But now everything is just like, I've seen this for too long. And that will become the road trip island. So 
next year I'll be doing a Mermaid Core Island and a Road Trip Island and I'm just I'm very excited for both of them I have so many ideas I have everything mapped out and uh, I just think they're gonna be so cool so subscribe if any of that sounds interesting to you I'll have more info on the Twitch thing later and once again, thank you so much for watching. And this took a long time to get all these parts out. So thank you for sticking around until I got them all out. I hope you truly do have the loveliest of lovely days. Until next time, bye-bye.